Good evening. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today is October 25th, 2022. Let me know when you can hear me if you're attending the live video. Okay, I can see that we're live. Hi, Joanne. Good evening. Okay, so just let me know if you can hear me and I'm going to copy this link to the video and go share it really quickly. Okay, so wrong place. Rot row. Here we go. <laughs> I just typed we are live. I meant we are live. Okay, post. Okay, I can see y'all's comments now. Thank you. Everything is good. Perfect. Okay, how are y'all doing? Yes, you can hear Bella in the background, right? I am doing okay. Yes, um, everything is good as far as the results. I still have to have more tests, but it's all good news for now. Okay, I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm excited to show you tonight's project. Um, it's going to be a smaller version of week. Um, okay, hold on just a second. Let me pop out the chat box so I can see y'all. And I need to click on live chat so that I see all of y'all's comments. And remind me, it is it is live chat, right? Yes, it's live chat, not top chat. So live chat, I can see everybody's. Okay, let me minimize this screen. So the, wow, I look really yellow. Hmm, let me change that real quick. There we go. There's normal. Okay, so tonight we're making... Um, a holiday version of week 11 of the 12 weeks of Halloween. Can you believe it's over? We got one more week, one more project uh, on Friday. Um, yeah, so one more project. I cannot believe it's over. I'm going to try to sneak in another one. Um, yeah, because I got a couple more really cute projects. Okay, let me flip the camera. Oh, and let me put my face in the corner. There we go. Okay, so this is week 11. And then now this is the holiday version. So we made it bigger. We made it taller and wider. But the, the uh, depth of it is the same. Okay, so if you open it up. This is a double flat box. You can see there's a Kit Kat in here. It actually will hold more, but that's just an example that I have. Uh, this one held three of the, no, two of the large Tootsie Rolls or like five of the Fruit Chews. Okay, how's the color on this one? Is it okay? I think what I'm going to do is make it even brighter. Can I do that? Yeah, okay, there we go. And I don't know why I just put the chat box over on the left side. I have to have it over here on the right. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're making. This is what we made on uh, last Friday. And I'm going to put the measurements on the screen for y'all. There you go. And now I'm going to get those. So we'll do some housekeeping notes or commercials uh, in the middle. So Poppy Parade. And if you're wondering where the Santa came from, he's in the... Uh, I have my supplies right here in front of me so I don't forget. Although I did forget. Santa Express Memories and More card pack. Now don't fret. If you don't have that Memories and More card pack, which I don't know why you wouldn't because it's really a fabulous pack of cards. So you can make greeting cards with these or you can um, do scrapbooking with them. There's really like a 
whole bunch of goodness in here. Look how beautiful these are. Um, yeah, every one of them is just beautiful. And then here's the little ones. So you can make a fabulous um, Christmas scrapbook with this kit. But we're not. We're actually going to make this box using it. So the two pieces that we're using is this and this. But I have designed the back side with a different stamp. This is a new suite that's going to be available uh, November 1st called the Fitting Florets. And I swear I was going to put that um, information on the screen. Um, but I think I forgot to grab it. I don't know. Let me check really quick. Hopefully you are not in a hurry. We're probably going to be here about... Oh, I do have it. Okay, so let me add this one. Um... This is, okay, Angie, how do I make, rut row, where did that go? Oh, here we go. I'm trying to make it smaller, though. Well, I can't. <laughs> Let's grab the other one real quick. Let's see. Here we go. So this is the stamp set right here, the framed and festive, and then these are the dies. So if you didn't like the Santa version, you could always use, let me get this back off here. There we go. So if you didn't like the Santa version, you can use this one. Isn't that pretty? We're making this tonight though, okay? I'm kind of wordy, aren't I? Now I gotta find my chat again. Where'd y'all go? There y'all are. It's going to be Olivia's first Christmas, absolutely, yep. I'm so excited. I haven't I haven't got to see her in several days. I'm having withdrawals. Okay, so the only stamping that we're doing is Santa Claus is coming to town. And I'm using Real Red Ink, even though this cardstock is Poppy Parade. And it's because I wanted it to pop just a little bit more. But you can... Um, Use whatever color you prefer. Oh, Mary Catherine says, don't forget to push the like button. Thank you for reminding us. Okay, so there's that. We'll set that aside and let that dry. Now, I know those of you that don't like fussy cutting, if you don't like it, you could actually cut him out in a square. I'm going to take my time. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. I may or may not talk. I actually do have a couple jokes for y'all. So while I'm cutting, um, where do, where'd I put them? Here they are. Oh, almost messed up. Uh, what do you call Santa when he's wearing earmuffs? So what do you call Santa when he's wearing earmuffs? Anything. He can't hear you. <laughs> I thought that was good. It made me laugh. Did y'all do anything fun this weekend? I actually um, tried to rest as much as I could. I didn't realize the biopsy was going to be so painful. Um, yeah, I was I was not expecting that, but I'm fine. Remember, I told y'all last week or the week before or whenever I I have zero pain tolerance, like. If I stump my toe, I swear it hurts for like a day and a half. I'm a whiny baby. Okay, how's that look? It's not perfect, but nobody knows. Oh, you know what? These are two different colors. This is Sweet Sorbet and this is Poppy Parade. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not the end of the world, right? Yeah, how did I get that mixed up? 
Okay, this is the Memories and More card, the other one that we're cutting up. So these measure four by six. And so you can get both of your pieces here, uh, the front and uh, the inside out of this one, okay? So you don't need two, you just need one. Ruh -ruh, I gotta grab my trimmer. So I'm gonna cut it to measure four um, by two and three quarters, I believe. Let's get our measurements again. Four by two and three quarters, yep. Okay, so it already measures four. See, can y'all see the measurements? It already, me already measures four, so two and three quarters. And we need two of these. I saved the cutting so that I could show y'all that you get both of them. Oh, trunk or treat. You know, my kids never did that. It, I think that became, I didn't cut this enough so I gotta put it back on there um, I think trunk or treat started like after my kids had stopped uh, trick-or-treating um, okay so there's those and now we're ready to start our box this is a pretty quick quick project because we're using that memories and more Oh, Chris's granddaughter got married this weekend. Okay, I got to pull up the measurements again for myself. I won't put them on the screen because it'll block it. But on the 10 and a half inch side, am I in the camera view? Yep. On the 10 and a half inch side, I'm going to score it at three and three and three quarters. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So flip it around. Three. And three and three quarters. On the six and a half inch side, you're going to score it at three eighths. And the three eighths is the teeny tiny mark, or the tiny mark, before the half inch. So three eighths and one and an eighth. Three eighths. and one and an eighth. I got flamed the other day. I call it flamed. I got corrected the other day on one of my videos because my ring and bracelet made some noise. And um, I'm like, I can't change, I can't take, I can't remove any more than I've already removed. I used to wear like three bracelets on this side, a couple bracelets and a watch over here. I'm down to the nitty gritty. I got one and one. I cannot eliminate any more. So I'm trying my best to not make clanking sounds when I film a video. But yeah, I don't, <laughs> I can't remove any more. Um, I mean, I guess I could take them off right before I go live. But like I said, I don't take anything off but my watch and just to charge it. I even sleep in my necklace. I don't sleep in my earrings. I don't even have earrings on. My hair covers most of it anyway. Um, yeah, why am I sharing that? Oh, because when I was uh, scoring that, I was trying to make sure that my bracelet didn't go clink, clink, clink. Oh, that's nice. Um, trunk or treat at church. That's a good place because it's really um, kind of scary now to go trick-or-treating, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is cut this um, using the template. And there is box template 91 is what you're going to be using. And I have to turn the fan on now. Um, where's my scissors? They're hiding. There we go. Okay, so... First cut, we're going to remove the four corners. Hopefully y'all can see this. I had to re-watch the video to, to confirm that I actually did was doing some clanking. And I was a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. Sometimes people just look for something to be angry about. 
<laughs> then they should look for things to be happy about, to be excited. Um, I love so many different things. My daddy and I both said we would never be bored. There's so much to do in the world that we love. Okay, let's see. I can't see that line. I need more lights. Okay, my scissors are stuck. There we go. Now, this is how it looks. We have this 3 8 score line right there. So we have to uh, cut um, this little piece off right here. Okay, so we're going to do that on all four of these sections. I have to tell y'all, on, on Friday I posted week 11, uh, you know, this little box. And I was so terrified that someone was going to say, it's too small to hold anything. Um... I actually, everybody was really kind, but I was just waiting for someone to say, that's too small of a box. It's not worth it. And um, I didn't get a single negative comment, but I was, I was expecting it. Okay, so now I'm going to trim the tabs. Um, sometimes I think when you expect it, it doesn't happen. And when you, and when you do it, when you don't expect it, it does happen. Yeah. Okay, trimming the tabs. <coughs> I have some allergy issues, I think. Um, yeah, I think I have some allergy issues. I listened to Joel Osteen for three hours yesterday. <laughs> he always makes me um, feel really motivated. And, yeah, he really motivates me. I know some people don't like him, but like I said, you can either look for the negative or you can look for the positive. And I really try to gravitate towards the positive. You notice I said tried, right? Okay, so I'm putting tear and tape on these four tabs. And on your free printable, um, it, will, it will say... Uh, cut at an angle. Ruh -ruh, I got some dry. I got some dry liquid glue there. I need to remove. So let me just do that real quick so that I don't mess up my box. This is a question people ask me all the time, though: is how do you get the glue off? You just wad it up. It comes right off. Okay. Let's see. Two more tabs, and then we're going to take a commercial break. And I'm going to share with y'all the, um, we're going to have my little commercial break. We got my current chick candy over on my website is ending tonight. That's the deadline. And then our YouTube chick candy, we have some new for tonight. Okay. So that's all the adhesive you're going to add. Now we're going to take a little commercial break and, um, go over everything okay so this is tonight's YouTube chick candy so I won't show that yet so last week's winners um, Chris won the cottage wreath stamp set Chris I think I saw an email from you so yours will go out tomorrow Yvette and Becky I'm not sure I, I don't think you guys have claimed yours um, I don't remember seeing an email from either either of you. So you guys have two weeks to claim it. If you don't want the prize, uh, you can always email me and say pass, and I will re-gift it to someone else. I, I have had actually one person that won a stamp set. She already had it, and I offered her a different gift. So you guys can say pass. You don't have to... Um, completely ignore me um, or ignore the announcement you can just contact me and say I already have it can I have something else and I'm happy to do that tonight's uh, YouTube chick candy we have three different um, items and the way you enter to win is when the video is over give the comment section about 15 minutes to pop up 
and you're going to leave a comment on this video on YouTube. And I use Comment Picker to choose the winners. It's really easy, and I'm so thankful to have Comment Picker. Yeah, I should probably give them some money because it makes choosing the winners so fabulous. Um, okay, so gift number one. And if you have any questions, just let us know. There's several ladies on here that would be happy to, uh, to answer your questions. And I will, too. So the first one is Vintage Christmas. This is a current stamp set in our holiday catalog. I just love, love, love this little font. Yeah, I love this. The second one is a pack of the wonderful snowflakes. We are using these tonight. And a pack of the festive pearls. The third one is the Cute Stars Adhesive Back Sequins. A pack of black Stampin' Dimensionals and a Chick Stand. Okay? So that's tonight's YouTube Chick Candy. Again, this is the my blog Chick Candy. The deadline is tonight. All the details are on my website. Okay, that's that. And then this is my current host code. You get to choose your gift. Minimum $50 order before tax and shipping. Okay, this little QR code, code QR code, little, 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 little. QR code, uh, this will take you to fill out the form to select your gift. This front row, oh wow, that thing got really small. Um, this QR code is how you shop with me if you don't know how to get to my store. And what else do I have? Join my team. For $99 and you get $155 of product in your choice. And if you want to give me a call, I'd love to chat with you about joining either as a discount shopper or a business builder. And last but not least, this. Please subscribe. I am 75 people away from my 100,000. 75. Don't y'all know 75 people? <laughs> Um, okay, I'm done with the commercial breaks. I'm going to put the measurements back up for just a second. So again, this is our measurements. Double flap. Oh, no, I need to correct that. Box is in there twice. Oh, well. Okay, now back to our project. Do y'all have any questions? Let me head over to the comments section really, really quickly and see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take one minute. If you need a drink or something, I'm going to take one minute and look back at the questions. There was a question that somebody asked me last week, and I didn't see it, and I just feel terrible because we can't reply to people on the chat box. So if I miss your question on the chat box, just leave me a comment, and I will be happy to. I, I do pretty much reply to every comment. Hi, Carolyn. This is your first live video. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Kathy, you saw the subscribers. Yes, I've been tracking it since April. Um, there's been a few projects that that has made me lose a few subscribers. Um, yeah, <laughs> there was a few projects. Okay, let's see. It was cold and rainy yesterday. Um, yeah. Okay. Um... I'm laughing at Deborah's comment. Those of you that are on here, y'all can scroll back and uh, and read Debbie's comment. Deborah's comment. <laughs> uh, where did I buy my cross bracelet? This is Silpata, and I do have a link to it uh, on Amazon. So, uh, Ramona, if you want uh, to send me an email um, or a comment on the video and not the chat box, you know, can I... I think I wonder if I can comment on you now. I don't I don't want to mess things up. Yeah. Um, but if you contact me, here's my email. Helpdesk at chickenscratch.com. Um, I can give you the link to it. Okay, no questions. So here we go. We're almost done anyway. So I'm gonna use my take your pick tool 
and remove the backing of the adhesive. Yeah, all of a sudden it has now become winter. We went from, it was 84, 84 degrees on Saturday. Yeah. And um, now it's, well, I don't know. It's cold. Real cold. At least the sun came out today, though. I can always handle the cold a little bit as long as the sun is out. But when the sun is gone, I am not a happy camper. Okay, I'm just, okay, what is on my screen here? Hopefully y'all couldn't see that. It was like a little emojis. Yeah, I was telling y'all, I haven't got to see Olivia in several days now. I'm like, I'm not happy about it. Okay, so here's our box. So like I said, a Kit Kat will fit in there. I'll show y'all a couple other things in just a minute. Thanks, Teresa. See you later. Okay, we're going to add this to the front or to the top. And I was supposed to get a liquid glue because when I was stamping with my uh, downline today on our Zoom. Oh, wow. Look how perfectly I cut that. I don't even want to use it. I'm not going to. I'm going to save that. We're just going to pretend that I decorated the inside. Why do my emojis keep popping up? Oh, I bet my elbow's hitting that. Okay. I'm going to use this one. <laughs> I'm saving that other one. Y'all don't need me to decorate the inside, right? Y'all already saw it. Can y'all hear my fan? I think last week when I was proofing my video, one of the videos, I could hear the sound. So instead of um, using another piece of paper here, just put a piece of white and add your greeting. We're going to pretend that I decorated that um, and then now we're going to add the velcro so I went on Amazon these are the um, 3 8 3 8 inch velcro dots and that's the size that I'm using if you flip it over you can see but I bulk bought them a long time ago and I've tried finding these I, I can't find them online I have no clue where I bought them um, but that's what I'm using. Okay, that goes there. I tried to find them on Amazon and there were so many bad reviews on, on these um, bulk ones that I did not want to give the wrong link and then, you, and then the backing not work. And that was really what uh, people kept saying was... Whoa, somebody just drove like 100 miles an hour back there. Okay, let's make sure it's stuck. I usually like to put something in the box before I put the Velcro on so that I don't crush it, but it worked. There we go. Okay, so this, we're going to pretend that this is, <laughs> we're going to pretend that's Poppy Parade. Because I don't think I even have, well, I could cut it out real quick. I think I have some Poppy Parade cardstock right here. Or do I? I don't. And I don't really want to get up. I'm being lazy tonight. So we'll pretend. Whoever gets this box, you'll never know. Most of it's covered up anyway. So if you're wondering how close Sweet Sorbet is to Poppy Parade, um, that answers the question right I'm going to use a glue dot to add my snowflake I gotta find the glue dot okay you can use your favorite adhesive there's that we're going to add Santa and I have another joke for you um, <laughs> I'm, 
Oh, goodness. So what's, what's big and jolly and says, oh, oh, oh. Not ho, 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 but oh, oh, oh. Santa Claus walking backwards. <laughs> See? Now we've got, oh, wrong basket. We're going to add some twine. And we're going to add, let's see, we're going to add some rhinestones. Now on the back here, we use the red rhinestones and um, just some white baker's twine. But for this one, we're using the Simply Elegant Twine. Okay, so Vicki said she bought some generic ones on Amazon and they are awful yeah you have to be careful read reviews that's why the link that I give you it's in the description if you're on YouTube these do work they are true velcro velcro brand um, if you buy the generic you buy them at your own risk some generic things work just fine and others do not ruh -roh. like do y'all go to Aldi I go to Aldi and there's some things that are really, really, really good. And then there's some things that are awful, like cereal. I cannot eat, of course, I don't eat cereal anymore anyway, but I got to start over. I'm going to stop talking. When I tie a bow, I need to not talk. <laughs> okay, I got it. Um, I think. Sometimes this twine likes to act a little possessed and go in different directions. Um, so back to what I was saying. Some generic things are just fine and others not so much. Do y'all find that too? Some people only buy generic stuff and then some people don't buy any generic. Um, you have to just figure out what What's to your liking, right? Yeah, we bought some chicken. <laughs> we bought like some chicken grillers once. Oh gosh, they were really awful. We took one bite and threw them in the garbage. We had to get a completely different dinner. But then like their little Cornish hens are really good. Okay, there's that. Cute, right? And now for our rhinestones. I'm using the medium size now for this project uh, because it is a box. We can use the bigger ones. You could even use the really large ones if you want. And now I've got to add the greeting. I forgot to add the greeting earlier. We have to cut that out. But never fear, I have the little trimmer here. Time for another joke. Why did Santa... Why is Santa so good at karate? He has a black belt. I'm going to trim this a little bit more in this direction. There's the greeting. And we're going to add that also with a Stampin' Dimensional. This measures approximately half an inch. So, okay, so what do y'all think? I could flip this over now. That way y'all can see the two different versions. Uh, why did Santa go to the liquor store? He was looking for holiday spirits. Uh, I wish Stampin' Up! would bring back the little teeny tiny trimmer too. 
Uh, but in the meantime, those that did not get it can get the Fiskars one. They actually both work the same exact way. This one, the handle's a little bit bigger, but it's not available, so, and I really do use it every single day. Okay, what questions do you, oh wow, I got two thumbs down. I wonder what I did wrong. Hmm, that's interesting. Hey, y'all tell me, what did I do wrong? Did I say something? I don't ever really look up and see how many people are here and how many thumbs up I got, but I just looked up and saw two thumbs down. I'm like, holy smokes, what did I do? Oh, well, you can't please everyone, right? Um, so I'm going to scroll back now and look for questions. Um, so Catherine says, no generic chocolate. You know, there is one generic chocolate that David has found. It's dark chocolate, um, not milk chocolate, and it's like, you know, you get those really big, huge Hershey bars, like, I'm talking the Hershey bars like this long, and about this wide, really big, so he normally gets the Hershey ones, he likes to have like one rectangle before he goes to bed, and there is a generic form of that same candy bar that's really good, but it's dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. Oh, wow. No Aldi in Colorado. Wow. Uh, the Paper Pumpkin Santa would look great on this box. You know, I have not opened up. Hold on a minute. Let me grab my box. Oh, I was going to show you all the stamp set in person. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm going to open up this box real quick. I'm not going to assemble this thing tonight because I'm hungry. <laughs> I've been working. Uh, I went live today with my team and we had our normal kind of uh, business chat. And then I also stamped and made two cards. And then I took all the pictures and, um, Anyway, I've not, I, I've pretty much worked like every single minute of today. I didn't take a nap. I, I guess I did eat lunch, but okay. So, oh, look, look, there is, yeah, he would look real cute on this box. And guess what? If you wanted to make the original size, thanks, Kathy. I think that was Kathy, right? I'm looking back. Somebody correct me. Kathy, it was you, right? Um, this little uh, Santa will fit on the original small box. Yeah. Okay, so this is Santa Claus. Oh, the Santa Claus is coming to town. Huh. Uh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Look. Ho, ho, ho. Um, Tis the season to be jolly. Christmas and ho. Oh, I love this stamp set. I love it just like I love the... Um, Oh, I really like this a lot. Um, yeah. And I, did y'all know that if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, uh, that you can order these um, North Pole sacks? I ordered them last week when, when the clearance rack had, I um, hope I didn't mess up my video. I, I just noticed my box was on my controls. Um, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can order more of these bags. They're four by six and they're food safe. I love them. I bulk ordered them. Um, I bulk ordered them. And yes, I am going to go live and I'm going to assemble this. Um, Jean asked if I'm going to do that again this month. I am because you know what? I had so many awesome comments. And it was so fun. The problem is, though, is that I can't, I can't tell you when yet, but I am going to do it. Uh, for sure I'm going to do it, but I just can't, I can't give you advance notice. I might be able to give you like, um, like half a day notice, you know, but not, not 20, not, yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
let's go ahead and look at it real quick. So I don't think this is a complicated one, right? Wow, those are really pretty cards. I'm so glad I got two of these kits. Yeah. This time of year, I always bump up my kits to two instead of one. Well, this is going to be fabulous. I did see the video on it. I'm so happy that we have that cute Santa. Okay. Any other questions before I um, sign off? Okay, y'all were talking, about, oh my gosh, Debbie, you had roast beef and potatoes and gravy? Goodness gracious, that makes me really hungry. Y'all don't want to know that I'm fixing to eat a frozen pizza because I have no groceries in this house. Oh, uh, lasagna soup sounds really good. Somebody's going to have to share the recipe with me. Yeah, send me an email. Hi, Cam. I did not forget about you, Cam. I'm going to touch base with you tomorrow. Um, okay, any other questions? I'm, I'm scrolling back again. <laughs> okay, so y'all said y'all don't think I did anything wrong. Maybe somebody accidentally gave me a thumbs down. Maybe. Oh, yeah, you could put Wink Estella on this. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, before I sign off, I just want to remind y'all, um, the PDF will be available tonight. I've got it all ready. Give me about 15 minutes, so the PDF will be available, the box template will be available, um, and a link to all the product that we use tonight. And look, here we go again. Please subscribe, pretty please, with sugar on top. I'll take that off. I know it's kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, someone asked, where's the thumbs up? I really don't know. Wendy says that her paper pumpkin, um, that the ho-ho-ho was missing out of her box. Definitely contact Stampin' Up! And they will replace it. Absolutely. The Velcro dots are three-eighths of an inch. So, three-eighths. You can also use... A half an inch so either one yeah Sampin Up's really good about replacing stuff um okay so in this box I had um, a full-size Kit Kat I guess I didn't show y'all anything else did I I can open up my handy dandy drawer here and see what else fits in there so if you like to sew let's see if this I think this mini charm pack will fit in there along with some thread. Nope, the thread, does the thread fit? The thread barely fits. It's kind of, it kind of makes it look a little pregnant. Uh, I think the hand sanitizer is too fat. Um, let's see, what do I have in here? I know the little shortbread, those will fit in there too. Not exactly perfect. Let's see, do the fruit pies fit in there? Nope, they're too they're too too thick. I know uh, lip lip balm thread. What else can I show y'all? I know Ghirardelli chocolates. It will also hold a gift card. So look, you can put a you can put a whole bunch of little things in here. It's a nice size box. And the PDF actually does show you, it gives you the measurements of the box. Will a sticky note pad fit? Let me see. Uh, yeah, it will. Good idea. I love it. Yep. You can put post-it notes and a gift card and some Burt's Bees. Yeah, because this is probably a half of um, a post-it note. So yeah, it'll hold a post-it notepad because it's three inches by like four and a quarter. Yeah, the Tootsie Rolls were definitely fit. Those were in, where did I put them? Okay, I was going to say, if I reach my 100,000 subscribers uh, by uh, my Stampin' Up! anniversary, which is the 30th, I'm going to draw one person to win all 12 
of the 12 weeks of Halloween. Yeah. Um, that's just in like five days. You've got five days. I decided I wanted to reach reach 100,000 the same week as my 20th Stampin' Up! anniversary. Okay, what other... Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I was looking for the Tootsie Rose. I think I took them into another room. They're no longer in... Those are the fruit shoes. I don't have them in the drawer. So this measures uh, uh, three quarters of an inch. So anything that's three quarters thick, right? Now I got lots of stuff on my desk. I need to get a new mini charm pack, don't I? Okay, any other questions? Um, oh, so the person that asked where is the thumbs up, it's next to the word like. Yeah. You know, I thought somebody told me that they removed the thumbs down. I guess, I guess maybe they were wrong, right? I don't know. Okie doke. I'm going to sign off now and uh, give me about 15 minutes. So it's 747. Um... Yeah, so give me until about 8, 8.05. Yes, a pack of gum will fit. I think I might have a pack of gum in here. Do I? No, I don't. It's gone. I kind of switch out the stuff that's in here uh, as it ages. That's too that's too big. Alphabetes will fit in there if you fold that down. Yeah. I'm to blame for your family loving high chews. I love those things. They're perfect for a road trip, too. If you need a road trip, if you're going on a road trip, we always pack lots of little candy to keep us entertained and to keep us all hyped up, too, right? Um, so Friday, you will, um, will be week 12 of the 12 weeks of Halloween. And then the following Tuesday, I'll make a holiday version of it. And then we will move into doing um, a few Thanksgiving projects. Someone did ask, was I just going to go from Halloween to Christmas? Nope, I've got a few, um, a few uh, projects to make. I will tell you this, the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper is on low inventory. And that is our fall paper. So if you are wanting that paper, let me see if it's still available. I, I know the last time I looked, it was on low inventory it may it may already be on back order i'm going to check the inventory status report just real quick um evening evergreen is actually not orderable and that's the little piece right here is evening evergreen oh the cottage wreaths dies are not orderable <sighs> i don't like looking at this list it usually stresses me out um Okay, maybe the paper came in. Did I... Give me one more second. Okay, it's not on low inventory now. So, maybe it came in today. Yay! Unless I'm blind, I don't see it on the low inventory list. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Yeah. Okay. One more double check to see if there's any other questions before I sign off. Um, yeah, the Witch Hat Builder sold out. I knew it was going to. It's just too fabulous of a punch to, to not sell out, sadly. Okay, y'all have a great night. Thank you so much.